Okay, so this is going to be a video on problem 283. I'm going to try to go through this quicker and I'm going to uh, maybe cut this to two to three short videos because these things take a while to um, upload. So, first we need to uh, restore the file. Uh, I'm on page 283. This is chapter 9. So this is, we're going to uh, work at this problem, your homework problem. And at the end of the day, it should look like this is the answer in the Word document here. So this Word document is what the end result should look like. Um, uh, we're going to have to open the file. We're going to enter the adjusting entries and then print the forms, which should then look like this Word document. All right, so first we are going to uh, restore the data file for chapter 9. So I'm going to go into QuickBooks. I'm going to open the file, open or restore. And I'm not going to open, I'm going to restore a uh, backup file. So again, just like this is, should be familiar by now, we're going to take it from the data files. These data files might be on your um, DVD, this, the uh, CD drive in your book and most of us we put them on to your USB drives as well so mine are on the USB drive this is where I'm gonna go so charter you don't have this you don't have this um, student files and 120 okay data files these are all the backup files we're always working wild water sports and I'm looking for 9a so the book says 9a now we worked 9 in class so now we're doing 9a that's the problem it's not exactly the same we're gonna go next and it's gonna ask me where I want to put that um, I'm gonna hit the drop down again to find where I want to put it I'm going to go back to uh, accounting 120. Um, sorry, I'm going to go back one more to student files. And uh, 120, student files. And I'm going to put it into my restored data file. So now I have two files. I have a backup and a restored data file. Save it there. I'm going to pause the video while it saves. Now I'm going to have to upgrade, update this file as well. So be aware of that. I'm going to pause it while we do that. Okay, so we're up and running now. I closed all the pop-up screens that opened up when uh, it popped up. And now we're ready to enter data. First one, uh, event number one on 5109. Invoice number 10014 was recorded on this date for the sale of an MSLX to Elisa Hay for 52,000 plus sales tax. So, so we're just going to enter the invoice for this one. This isn't. They say this is not an adjusted entry. So um, we'll just enter the invoice. Okay. So invoice d d d d d to Elisa. Hey, 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 all right, tab, 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 050109, tab, invoice numbers correct, tab, 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 uh, I don't see the terms there, I'm not going to worry about them, tab, 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 invoice number, so I'm assuming there's one, um m s l x tab 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 sales tax is there so we are good so i'm going to save and close that okay so the next one now um remember our cutoff date is april now so these are this is going to be our adjusting entries we're going to make things correct as of 430 that's all we care about and then we're going to reverse some of that as of 5 1 so let's talk about that Accrued interest expense for 995 on the 250,000 loan. So what's happening is the loan wasn't paid yet, but we accrued interest expense. So if we go back to the loan amortization table, which was way back on, um, well, give me the page number. 
in figure 8.1 on page 219 there is the loan so accrued interest expense I'm gonna go to company and da -da -da -da, make journal entry um, company make journal entry alright so as of the cutoff date we had interest expense and we're going to debit that for the 995.52 and that's the other side is going to be accrued expenses being accrued interest expense so this is interest expense we, we accrued as of 430 but we don't owe it we haven't paid it yet so we're making our, our uh, liabilities and expenses correct as of our cutoff date. All right, I'm going to go save and new. All right, prepare a reversing entry for the preceding interest accrual. So now on 5-1, the thing is when we pay the, the, the uh, interest off, I don't want the bookkeeper to have to worry about our accrual because I only care about it as of 430. I want to make my books right as of 430. So as of 5-1, we're going to reverse this process, meaning I'm going to do the exact opposite. So interest expense is now going to be credited, making it go back down for the 995.52, and we'll debit accrued uh, expenses. So we made it right as of our cutoff. That's all we care about. We reversed it afterwards so the bookkeeper does not have to worry about our stupid accrual and we hit save and new all right number four on the 430 accrued interest expense 1000 on the 50,000 loan record um, record related to uh, reversing entry 5-1 with journal entry okay okay so accrued interest expense of 1000 on the $50,000 loan now. So same process. So we're going to have interest expense 1000 making that go up as of our cutoff date which should be 430. And then we've got um accrued expenses of 1000 okay and then of course same process we're going to reverse that it says then to reverse it so as of 5 1 we're going to reverse that and we're going to say interest expense going down 1000 and accrued expenses and we reverse it. Save and close. Okay, so number five, as of our cutoff date here again, on 430, we accrued interest income. So this is income on interest on our investments, on our stocks that we're going to receive uh, that we haven't got yet, but we've earned it. So again, as of our cutoff day, we've got to record the fact that we earned it. So we will then say, uh, when we earn the interest income, our short-term investments will go up by the by the three six zero zero. Asset will go up because we'll earn interest and dividends, and then we are going to call it uh, interest that we receive. So it's interest, not expense at this point. Interest income. Income is a credit balance that goes up with a credit. So we're going to save and record that. And then again, we're going to reverse it as of the first day of the next month, the first day after our cutoff, because I don't want to have to worry about this accruals the day after. Okay, so we're going to have here, we're going to have interest income is now going to be debited, making it go back down for the 3600 and we will have uh, short-term investment will then go down okay so we put that in and then we reversed it
Okay, so the next one on our next accrual as of 04.30.09 represents the fact that a sale was made and the boat was delivered on 4.30, but the invoice was not entered until 5-1. So as of our cutoff date, it should have been in there, but the bookkeeper put it in there as of 5-1. That's not wrong, but the timing is off. So we need to pull it back into um, April. So in order to do that, we're going to have to, the, the, the sale would be recorded like this. If, if it was sale on account, accounts receivable is going to go up by 55380. You have to put the name of Alice uh, in accounts receivable because we need that subsidiary ledger. It won't let you record it without it. Okay, related to that, we have boat sales. Uh, the boat sales were actually only for 52000 because the difference, that's to Alice as well, because the difference is going to taxes. So the taxes are going to be sales tax payable. All right, we're going to credit that one. And the people we got to pay that to are the Florida uh, Department of Revenue. All right, and then we have the other side of it, which is cost of goods sold. And that has to be debited for 41600, making income go down. Again, that is to Elisa uh, not going to bill it. And then we have the inventory for the boats going down. And that will go, we can say to Elisa as well. We're not going to bill it. All right, I'm going to record that, and then we're going to reverse it as a 5-1, or else it'll be in there twice. So we pulled it back into our cutoff. We hit next, and then we got to increase the date, and we're going to reverse it now. So now, uh, accounts receivable is going to be credited by the same amount 55380 we're just pulling it back out and this is to Elisa and then of course the boat sales remember was a different amount um, because it was 52,000 that's how much we actually sold the boat for um, put Elisa there the difference is Sales tax, payable, There and the notice the difference popped up automatically. I did not pop put that in there because it's going to try to um, make you in balance automatically. Florida Department of Revenue, and then the other side of it is cost of goods sold, which we will now credit it, making it go back down, 41600. We can say Elisa and boat inventory, inventory boat. All right. And, all right. Okay, so save and new on that one. All right, let's see what else we got. 